hi guys how are you finally i'm back to my channel to serve you with more useful uh, videos and i will do my best to fulfill your expectation and i will do my best to keep making useful videos on useful topics okay so let's start our new video in this video i'm going to work with a country info module in which we can uh, grab different kind of details for any country okay and uh, uh, we will make a simple uh, GUI and uh, we will work with that okay so let's start first we will import uh, tkinter as uh, I'm going to work with tkinter for making the GUI so here we will start writing the code from sorry import take enter as tk and uh, from take enter import everything okay so this is a, a take enter code and we will make a simple uh, window for now uh, like uh, when tk dot tk and uh, we will set its title win dot title mm. country lookup and uh, we will set the size of window win dot geometry for now let's make it 300 by uh, 200 and when dot resizable let's uh, disable resize false false and when dot main loop right now here let's try python main dot by okay you can see this is the simple uh, window that I just created now I am going to add a text field here and a button uh, let's make our text field entry when and uh, text variable uh, c and t here we will set a sorry initialize c and t string var okay and here ent dot pack and uh, site tk dot tk dot left uh, we will give some padding as well pad x 20 right now we will uh, create a button btn button uh, win okay why I'm uh, why I'm uh, writing win here uh, you should know this uh, this is a container I'm not making any frame or label frame for now uh, so I'm just uh, placing all the components to main container which is win and here I will give some padding horizontal padding 20 and btn dot pack let's try it python main dot pack ok let me sh uh, let me see too early to create variable no default root oh, sorry
oh I forgot to add a text here and align it let me correct it uh, in button sorry I give a padding to wrong place here I have to set button text so I make it look up and here a uh, side tk dot left pad x 20 okay so please ignore my mistakes I am uh, making the video after a long time so I am a human as well I hope you can understand that my intention is to help you with uh, the concept let's try again wow this is the text field and this is a lookup button for now it's not working yet okay so I'm going to uh, create a function to work with a lookup button and here I will write the country name or I can also write country code here like UK US I and PK like that okay so now I'm going to uh, import our country info module so from country info import country info from here I have to install country info module as well I'm using pip package manager okay it installed the country uh, info module now let's initialize a function here let's create a function lookup country okay now here we will simple set a variable country and here country info and uh, here we have to pass the country name so I'm going to pass the value of C and T whatever I write in the text field that will go to the C and T variable and I will pass the C and T variable here so C and T dot get and here let's uh, grab some details like uh, country capital and uh, country uh, languages country borders I will uh, tell you about each and every option so for capital here we will call the capital sorry this will uh, return the capital of the specific country whatever the country I specify it will return the capital of it and uh, let's make it short CPT and uh, uh, it also uh, give us a region name where uh, in which region uh, where the country locates okay so RGN country dot region and we can also uh, get currencies used in that country so current country dot currencies and uh, we can also get uh, connecting borders for that country uh, we can find the neighbors of that country easily so country dot borders and uh, here we will print the detail 
like uh, country name mm, country okay and print a uh, capital CPT and here print a uh, region in which region the country located RGN print um, currencies currencies used in that country CURN okay Print connecting borders ports and here that's enough, right? And uh, this is the function name we will call on click here in button we will set the command this right uh, let's take a try python main dot py ok wait now here uh, if I enter us means united states and you can see okay uh, for country name I will set it I, I forward this you can see the capital name Washington DC region Americas currencies USD USN and USS and connecting borders Canada and MEX I think it's uh, Mexico uh, these two countries are the borders borders of America uh, okay, one thing. Uh, let me set this. Uh, wait. Uh, where, where, where? Sorry. Uh, Cnt dot get. So it will print the country name. What we pass in the text field. Python. Main dot py. Wait. Let me clear the screen. Okay. Here now uh, US. You can see now the country name US, uh, capital Washington DC, and uh, blah blah blah. Uh, we can check other countries as well, like uh, India. Uh, you can see this country name India, capital New Delhi region Asia, currency INR, Indian rupees and connecting borders Afghanistan, Bangladesh and uh, PTN I don't know what is that MMR I don't know CHN China, NPL Nepal and Pakistan and yeah, I think this is Sri Lanka let's uh, try another Pakistan and you can see country name Pakistan, capital Islamabad and region Asia currency is PKR, Pakistani rupees and border is Afghanistan, China, India, Iran okay so I think uh, this is enough for this video but we are not done here in next video I will continue from here and I will show you how can we make a simple but beautiful GUI application and show these uh, details in proper managed way okay so please wait for my next video and uh, of course like and share my video and subscribe to my channel if you did not subscribe yet and again 
guys i am very 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 thankful for all your appreciation all the encourages all the encouragement and all the support that i am getting from you okay guys take care uh we will uh work in next video again so stay tuned guys thank you bye bye